Hey everyone, it's been a while since we've done an obscure Star Wars EU video, uh, but I'm back now and I've got huge plans for the series going forward. Uh, I kind of oversaturated the series with 10 episodes in 10 days a little while back, so now um, we're going to be spacing them out from here on. But I've got a ton of cool stuff, I've got some video game stuff uh, coming up in the future. Um, I've got some more RPG mags to talk about, a, a lot more in the future, but uh, I've got a short list that over the next... Uh, several months that has some of those on there. I've got some picture books and I've got some uh, guides with short stories, which is the case for today's, which is something that is so, so super cool that I had no idea about until a friend of mine, Trevor Davey, who's working on a really cool project that uh, we'll be talking about on the channel later, I'm sure, uh, told me about. And so I went out and bought it because I thought that was so cool. Um, and I can't wait to talk about it and share it with you guys today. So, uh, I'm talking about something that ties into the video game Star Wars Force Commander. Now, this is nothing special. This is just a standard um, Force Commander PC. Uh, so, the discs, you know, here's disc one of Force Commander. Uh, now, I've never actually played this game, so I'll have to do that at some point in disc two there. Uh, and it's uh, a strategy game with some lore. Uh, so, sounds really, really cool. I have to give it a whirl one of these days. Uh, but yeah, Force Commander is a part of the Expanded Universe. And the obscure media that we're talking about today is a tie-in short story to Force Commander. It was included in a field combat manual. Now, this isn't even really, per se, the game guide itself. This is its own animal. This is... Star Wars Force Commander Field Combat Manual. This isn't even the instructions manual. That was a separate manual. So this was a book that was uh, included in the PC box set. So you would have paid more to get it all in a box. Uh, and so this is it. And mine has a little bit of wear. Here's the spine. So no text on the spine. Here's the back cover. Um, of course, being copyrighted to Lucas Arts. Uh, now, I don't have an exact year... There's no year in here for where the copyright is, so I can't tell what year this was put out, but I presume it coincided with the release of the game, because there's no year included in the book, uh, which I noticed earlier. Um, does this have a year on it? No, it doesn't, but uh, I'll edit in what year this came out, because it coincided with the release of the game. And so this story includes a two-page short story in the beginning of the the book now uh star wars timeline.net will have this story archived on it very very soon uh there will be uh, a pdf file of this two-page short story included on the website um thanks to joe bongiorno and uh so we have this table of contents and yes there's some kind of appealing stuff lore wise later on um but it's more like an encyclopedia so like a complete encyclopedia summary of something so it tells you about some of your fellow officers, gives some profiles and background on them. But it's not a story, per se, for all this stuff. Now, what's fascinating for my copy uh, is once you get to page 24, there's a misprint. And instead of going to 25, it repeats 24 printed backwards. So it's like it reprinted, uh, the and, and then it goes downwards. So it, from where page 24 is, then it repeats 24, and then it regresses and goes to page 23, 22, all the way back down to later where we have page 9 again, a repeated image of page 9, but upside down, and then it carries on where it's supposed to be at page 41. So that's a weird print error that my copy had. I don't know if, I presume not every copy is like that, but uh, it's fascinating regardless. Uh, really kind of cool to have an error copy, as error copies are always kind of neat. But uh, back to the subject of uh, the video, this short story, Imperial Communique number 617096.24K, is a two-page in-universe short story that was included in this guide. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and read it. This is like as obscure as you can get, uh, in my opinion. So uh, it's in the form of an in-universe letter. So it, uh, I'll now read it for you guys. To Lieutenant Bren Tanter from Captain Barry Toulon, Galactic Corps Imperial Center. Re-Imperial Officer Training and Field Duty. Lieutenant Tantor, 
Congratulations on completing your military training at the Imperial Academy and abroad. The Imperial Security Bureau, Bureau, Compnor, and Imperial Intelligence have forwarded several glowing reports regarding your progress. In particular, my superiors and I find your acceptance into the elite Stormtrooper Corps impressive, as this special branch of the military is rarely breached by outsiders. Given your record, the Imperial Army is pleased to promote you to active officer duty effective immediately. Serving as an officer in the Imperial Army is a difficult task. It will be my duty to instruct you in the nuances of your new post and ensure that you are ready to meet the challenges ahead. As my first duty as your superior, I've attached a detailed manual to this memo. You are hereby ordered to read the manual thoroughly. Once you have done so, report to me immediately, at which point we will begin your field training. Pay special attention to sections of the manual describing the Battlefield Holographic Control Interface, the BHCI. The BHCI is the command module through which you will control your ground forces on hostile planets. It will provide you with a virtually unlimited number of camera angles for monitoring both Imperial and enemy movements. Just remember that your troops will follow your every order, with little regard for their own safety. So you must be certain that your strategies are sound, and that the Empire does not lose lives in vain. When you arrive for your training missions, I will guide you through the BHCI's many functions. During these exercises, I will cover the use of camera controls and teach you how to command your units both in and out of battle. Though the missions are considered training sessions, each will serve an imperial purpose and should hone your combat skills. Take them seriously. Every mission in the service of the Empire is extremely important, both for the galaxy and each officer involved. If you perform well in your assignments, you will rise in ranks accordingly. You will also earn imperial command points which can be used to leverage Imperial suppliers into providing additional combat units and equipment. Beginning with your first mission, you should pay close attention to your accrued command points in the dangerous days ahead. You will need command points to gain a greater number and variety of units. Using command points wisely can give you a distinct tactical advantage and lead to even further successes in the Emperor's name. Lieutenant Tantor, after reviewing your records, I believe that you can become one of the Empire's most dedicated and ardent officers. I foresee numerous victories on the horizon, and I look forward to serving as your mentor throughout these turbulent times. I trust that you will not fail the Emperor or yourself. Now get to the attached manual and report for active field duty as soon as possible. We have a lot of work ahead of us. From Captain Barry Toulon, Imperial Army. Uh, and attached is a, a field combat manual. And there's a signature too from the assumed captain in universe. Uh, so this is very, very cool. Obviously it's setting up the game uh, with stuff like commanding forces. Uh, this this mentor is gonna teach you how to uh, maneuver troops and really train this in-universe character to be a good tactician, uh, which seems to be the premise for the game. Uh, and so it sets that up very well. Uh, you can see some stuff that will obviously be video game mechanics, but it's been framed in an in-universe way, uh, like operating camera controls to view how your troops are doing. Clever. I really like that. Uh, and it's interesting. I always love reading in-universe letters, whether it be like Tarkin's letter uh, that we got. Uh, there's so many other cool letters in universe, especially in those Western games days as well. Uh, and so there's a ton of, ton of, ton of cool stuff like that in universe. And this is just another example of that. And I just really enjoy it. Now, this reminds me of the dark forces manual that I covered, uh, in this video a little while ago. Um, and it seems like a similar whole kind of thing to that, but man, it's really, really cool, right? It's really, really cool. I love little scraps like this, a two-page short story in the form of a letter in this field manual. Just very, very, very neat. Is this essential to the expanding universe? Not really. Is it worth getting? Only if you're a completist, only if you're a completist. Um, but I think it's definitely really cool. So if you get it for under like 10 bucks, go for it. Uh, that That's what I would say. It's just a really cool piece of obscure EU and I guess it'll help you to play the game. I don't know if I'll refer to it. If I play the game and get stuck, I'll probably just refer to a Google walkthrough, but you know, these are still cool to have. And it's really cool that they didn't have to write a two page short story from an in-universe perspective, but it's that little added detail that pads out the expanding universe and makes it feel that little bit much more 
lived in. And that's why I think it's really cool. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time on Obscure Star Wars EU.